YouTube, YouTube's actually uh, changed their guidelines on the election, on, on election results and such. So uh, this happened to us. I alluded to at the start of the show that we had, we had a video where we talked about, I don't know exactly what was said, but we said something about the 2020 election being, uh, you know, as anybody who, who has two eyes, two ears, and half a brain knows, it was a bit weird. There were some weird inconsistencies. There were some weird things that went on. I'm not saying that it was a fraudulent election necessarily, but we did. it did have a record amount of votes for a, uh, a subpar candidate. And the argument is that people just wanted Biden over Trump. Fine. But... Uh, so Biden got 10 million more votes than Obama. Okay. Seems a little weird to me. And it just seems like something where you'd be like, you'd want to just double check. Like, you know, like, I don't know if somebody handed me a wad of cash like this and they went, there's a million dollars there. I'm like, I want to trust you, but can we just count it? Maybe can we just check anyway? Like, I'm not calling you a liar, but it just seems weird. It just seems a little light. It seems a little bit of a small stack. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, so they actually, uh, so YouTube's decided they're going to actually stop um, censoring um, political, whatever you want to call it, political questioning of, you know, of elections, past elections and such, um, which... I don't think they ever should have questioned, really, or, or ever should have censored. I mean, you can question it just because I, and especially the way we did it, and the, the fact that I got, that we had our video pulled and got a strike, a new strike over it. I didn't personally say that I think that it's a, that the, the election is 100% a, uh, was a fraud or anything like that or was stolen or any of that kind of stuff. But I do think there are some inconsistencies. I think there are things that they should explore and there are things that they should change and, and such. They should uh, protect our elections as best as they can. I don't think ballot harvesting should happen because uh, I, I think that begs for people to just be bullied, that bullied at the door. Um, and I think you're you're allowing too much ability for people to to change other people's. You know, like for example, maybe you go to a door and you're ballot harvesting. You know, let's say, for example, an 80 year old man and he hasn't marked it out. And you say, no, it's just okay. Who, who do you want to vote for? Such, such, okay, I'll fill it out for you. And you fill out the candidate that you want. That's election fraud. And I'm sure it happens. And I'm sure there are a number of other ways that happen that it happens. And if it happens enough en masse, that could, could equate to millions of votes you know, over a large, you know, over a large scope. So it's just these are the kinds of things that I think we should just be careful of. And but as far as what YouTube's doing to uh, to change their guidelines back to allowing more free speech, um, you know, dissenting uh, ideas and things like that from the narrative, that's great. I'm I applaud YouTube. Um, it it's moving. That's a good move towards more of a an open. Uh, dialogue and a, and a bastion for um, for free speech, and you know, I hope it's I hope it's an earnest move. I hope it's not one because they're saying, oh, well, maybe you know, there are some of these other maybe someone someone like Rumble or is starting to steal some of YouTube's uh, viewership or audience. Um, I hope it's just sort of I'm saying, no, you know what, we need to we need to be inclusive to everybody and and different opinions. And such, and people from both sides of the yeah. But we'll see. I mean, but uh, you know, again, a great move on YouTube, and and it's nice to see, especially since I would get in trouble with some of that stuff. You know, obviously, you can hear that I will watch what I say because I don't want to uh, get any strikes on my on the uh, on the channel at this point. So, um, but yeah, okay. 